This just in. Hello and welcome to Jay White, the second this just in Jay's Week 10 NFL picks. Let's start with the 5-3 and three Colts at the 6-2 and two Tennessee Titans. I'm taking the Titans. Um, Titans defense, not the best on third down. And the Colts can't run the ball, uh, which puts a lot on Phillip Rivers, who has been hot and cold this season. Um, but again, I like the Titans at home. Uh, I think uh, the Titans just have that running game. Uh, the defense might be able to tighten up on third downs. Uh, this is a big division game, and uh, uh, I just see the Titans coming away with it. The Texans, who are 2-6, and six, will be at the 5-3 and three Browns. I am taking the Cleveland Browns. Baker Mayfield is off the C reserve list and back at practice Wednesday today for the Texans game this week. I'm taking the Browns. I like the Browns at home. The 2-6 Washington football team at the 3-5 Detroit Lions. I'm taking the Detroit Lions. Lions running back Adrian Peterson's revenge game against Washington saying they will get to relive what they let go. Uh, I like Adrian Peterson. I hope that comes true for him and he has a great one. Um, also, the Lions... Um, Air attack game's been pretty good. Washington pretty good against receivers, but not against tight ends. Look for the tight end. Um, Seki, I believe, is Hutchins, something like that. He should have a big game as well. Buccaneers at Panthers. The Bucks are 6-3. and three. The Panthers are 3-6. and six. I'm taking the Bucks on the road. Panthers running back Christian McCaffrey not practicing today. Status for Sunday is in doubt. That hurts me, um, especially for my fantasy. But I like the Bucks on the road in this one. Even if McCaffrey somehow plays, um, with him not being a big participant, it means his shoulder is injured, and uh, he hurt it on that last drive there at the end of the last game against Kansas City. So uh, I think uh, you know he won't be as strong as this last performance. This hurts the Panthers. The Bucks need to, to bounce back from the Saints game. I'm taking the Bucks on the road. The three, four, and one Eagles at the two and seven Giants. I am taking the Eagles on the road. Eagles rusher Miles Sanders, knee and wide receiver Alshon Jeffrey Calf are expected to return to practice this week. Jeffrey has not played this season. Uh, that's a big addition. That is a big addition for the Eagles. Uh, this is going to be a close game. It's a division game. Uh, you talk about if the Giants were to win it, though. They could still be in the playoffs somehow with three wins under their belt. I just don't. The three, four, and one Eagles. I, I, I feel like they'll they'll get the better of the Giants. Uh, it may be a close one, but I like the Eagles on the road. The one and seven Jaguars at the six and two Packers. I'm taking the Packers at home, who will be stacked. Packers will have all their starting wide receivers, running backs, tight ends. Uh, starting and healthy for the first time since week two. Uh, they put up 40 plus points in both of those games. Yeah, I'm taking the Packers definitely at home against the Jaguars. The Buffalo Bills, who are 7 and 2 at the 5 and 3 Cardinals. This is an interesting one, I think, for everyone. Um, I'm taking the Cardinals at home. Uh, can Josh Allen and the Bills D play good or as good as they did against the Seahawks? Uh, I say no. I like the Cardinals at home who need to bounce back from the Miami game last week. And let's move on. And I think, speaking of the Miami Dolphins, they'll be playing the LA Chargers. The Dolphins are at home. The Dolphins are 5-3. and three. The Chargers are 2-6. and six. Uh, So proud of Tua Tonga Valoa. The Miami Dolphins as a whole, uh, one of the hottest teams in the league, while the Chargers continue to find ways to barely lose. So I'm taking the Dolphins at home, definitely. Broncos 3-5, and five, Raiders 5-3. Five and three. I'm taking the Raiders at home. Uh, as of now, a four-point 
five point favorite or five point favorite against the Broncos. Raiders need this one to add to their playoff race. As of now, the Raiders uh, would be in the wild card along with Miami in the AFC. The Seahawks at the LA Rams. The Seahawks are six and two. The Rams five and three. I like the Seahawks. Russ will out cook off and Rams. Um, can the Seahawks D hold up? You know, I, I hope they can. If they do, look for the Rams to lose, the Seahawks to win this one. Hopefully, Russ can bounce back. Bengals, Steelers. The Bengals are 2 5 and 1. The Steelers are 8 and 0 oh for the first time in their history. I hope the Bengals just put an end to that right now. And uh, that will be that. Give the, the Steelers their first loss of the season. Beat the 8 0 Steelers, please. And thank you. Miami wants to pop the champagne for the only perfect season. And, you know, this is a division game. So this is going to be a tight one, I feel. Uh, especially after the way the Steelers played the cow with the Cowboys, you know. I, I feel like the Bengals could, could win this one on the road. It's a long shot, but, you know, that's what I'll be hoping for. The 4-5 49ers at the 6-2 Saints. I like the Saints. The 49ers need to step up for uh, all the injuries and a chance in their division to go to the playoffs. Will they? No, I don't think so. I like the Saints. At home. The 6-2 uh, Ravens at the 3-5 Patriots. I like the Ravens on the road. Patriots barely avoiding their sixth loss against the Jets. Patriots not the same team. They have been in the last two decades, obviously. I'm liking the Ravens on the road in this one. Vikings at Bears. The three and five Vikings at the five and four Bears. I'm taking the Bears at home. The Bears offense, I know, needs to step it up. It's been brutally bad, but uh, I like Nick Foles at home and uh, the Bears to win this one in a division game that uh, can help them get back on track. Jay White the second. This just in. This is my... Week 10 NFL picks. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Until next time, guys. All right.